What's up, YouTube? Right, um, for tonight I've got a couple of Wi-Fi battles. They were pretty good ones that I had today. Um, some nice low tier pokes as well, so it was pretty interesting stuff. Um, before I start this battle, um, I am just letting you know that I am live streaming again this Saturday, and we fixed all the you know, all the lag issues as well, so there won't be any of that jumpiness and stuff. So that'll be good, and uh, I'll I will upload uh, upload more um, <clears throat> updates and stuff exactly when it's going to be, but it's going to be around exactly the same time as it was before. Um, so you should see something in my uploads on Friday-ish, that sort of thing. Anyway, uh, to the battle. So uh, I had a couple of these this morning. They were pretty cool, actually. Um, you know, sort of laying back on my bed, I thought, oh, why not? I'll accept a few battles today. Um, I was having a little bit of a break from doing some Masuda uh, breeding. So anyways, uh, starting with Stantler here is my normal Intimidate lead. Uh, He's, uh, he's pretty handy, actually, because, you know, you don't really know what's going to uh, um, come from Stantler. So, uh, he's going to outspeed and set up the Sticky Web, which uh, is one of the most OP traps, is the most OP trap in the game. Uh, it is a big problem when anyone ever sets it up. Um, I just go off the Thunder Wave there, so I can outspeed and go for the Confuse Rate. So... I, I sort of, I sort of had a plan here to swap something in that could, you know, I might be able to set up on it despite having this sticky web up because um, Levany would have a 30% chance to attack. So uh, anyway, I just changed my mind and thought, fuck it, let's go straight for the Giga Impact. This is my Giga Impact Parafusion Stanler, and it hits, hits pretty hard considering um, it's, it is jolly nature, so it's not hitting at a full adamant, but it's still pretty powerful. So it comes from it. Was expecting a close combat here. Um, but he goes for Stone Edge, uh, probably, I don't know, maybe thinking he'd kill, but it didn't really matter at all because I had a Focus Sash anyway. So he's going to withdraw his promo again and um, go straight into Rotom. I go for the Thunder Wave because I thought he might switch into something different. I go for me first here, hoping that he'll go for Thunderbolt on me. Um, it's a little bit of a gimmick, but it's pretty funny when it works. But he goes for Air Slash, and I wasn't exactly... Um, wasn't exactly good, but I got a flint, so a little bit of damage. That was, I was all right with that. So I throw off the confuse ray, and just for, so I can hopefully get um, you know a little bit more damage on this guy because I know they do have they are all the rotoms are very very bulky. Uh, there's not else much my stand that can do here, so I'm going to swap him out. Um, obviously due to that ghost typing. Um, so into not the ghost type. What am I on about? Into um, Impala. Now I expected him to go for the air slash. I'm carrying an ice move on this, so I thought I'd, you know, I'd try and scare him out with that, um, which worked pretty well. Um, so into his Militic here, I wasn't too sure how I was going to get rid of this thing yet, because it's very, very bulky. I went for the Icy Wind anyway, in case that Rotom stayed in, because I know, or anything else than Militic came in, because I know I could, you know, that would... Since my speed got dropped, um, I could level it out a little bit with the Icy Wind. So, uh, this is going to be a really bulky Militix. There's not much my Empoleon can do any more to it. Uh, my only real option here is sort of to sacrifice my um, Stantler and see what move that's going to... I'm thinking it was going to have Scold. You know, obviously it was going to have Scold. Why wouldn't you have Scold on a bulky Militic? Uh, so I sort of had to sacrifice my uh, Stantler. But it wasn't too bad because Stantler, you know, Stantler did well. He got rid of a Pokemon and, uh, you know, caused a little bit of chaos. So into my Grand Ball here. Now, this is a banded set. I didn't really care about my speed, so I was just hoping I didn't get banned, uh, <laughs> burned here. I know I could two-shot this Militic quite easily with Play Rough. Um, so Militic's obviously going to go for the Skull to try and burn me, uh, which uh, the Militic does. I'm like, fuck. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, I just stay and go for the Play Rough anyway. It does, you know, it does a sizable amount of damage considering I'm burned. It would have got very close to killing if I wasn't burned, but but um, I'm still pretty happy with the damage, and there was no point in me actually swapping out here. You know, I could, I could force it to go through the Recover, but I was thinking that it might go for the Skull again, and I would just hang on, which is really good. Um, so going for the second Play Rough again, getting in uh, KO range... Uh, for my next poke that I'm going to bring in. Um, anyway, so Granville did a pretty good job there. Um, which, yeah, he did pr pretty well, uh, considering he got burned. Um, right, so he's out of the way. Um, so this is sort of my opportune moment to send in my Scolopee, because I know that um, that Sticky Web was going to slow me down. I, don't know, I, had to, I sort of had to risk Militic using a Skull here, because I know I could take it. And if I could get the Sword Dance off without being burnt, I could, you know, I could cause a lot of uh, trouble for his team. So uh, Militic's going to throw the rest up. Um, so instantly I thought, well, if it doesn't have Recover, it's 
you know, if, if it's not using recover and it's using rest, it's definitely a sleep talk meal tip. There'll be no other reason why uh, you'd be running rest for. Okay, so I go straight away here for the Mega Horn. Does loads of damage, nearly kills it. I was like, damn, I hope. I was just hoping this uh, Skull, not the Skull Pete, uh, Militic uh, doesn't use um, Skull on me, but it did. Unfortunately, and does loads of damage to me, but fortunately for me, I don't get a burn. I was really happy about that because um, it would have been, uh, it would have been, um, you know, I would have got, I would have got past it, but it would have sort of slowed down my sweeping capabilities after I got rid of the Militic. So uh, that's out of the way. Unnecessary crit there. Okay, so that was. Um, I was mainly worried about that to get past that. So I got uh, my speed boost up, so which is good. Uh, in comes the Rotom. I thought I could nearly one shot this, uh, even if I had defensive EVs. I get very close to getting it, um, getting rid of it. I get a poison hacks on it, which is good. And you know, as I guessed, that Will O Wisp would be coming in, but I wasn't too worried about that because uh, I've got a sword dance up, and I can still hit reasonably hard. And that Toxic is going to take out the Rotom anyway. So that was. Uh, pretty fortunate there. Um, and then again, Scalopede does have a higher chance of uh, poisoning people with that move. So getting another speed boost uh, right here. Right, so in comes the Primate, which I thought was an odd move, considering I got to hit it very, very hard anyway with Poison Jab, and I got a crit there. Wasn't too sure if that mattered. I'm not sure. It would have been very, very close to killing it regardless, even on minimum damage. Um, you know, it doesn't have the greatest defenses. Uh, so I get another speed boost there, which is uh, sort of unnecessary there. Okay, um, into the Glaceon. I go for the Mega Horn here. I miss, which sucks. And thought, yep, that's my sweep. And the main problem, uh, Scolipede may look like a very, you know, e extremely good sweeper. It is, but its its mainstay Mega Horn lets it down. As you can see, that's a prime example there. Uh, that's why it sort of plummets itself uh, lower in the tiers. So uh, I get the Sticky Web hit on my Houndoom. I'm not too worried because I don't think this thing can hit me with anything for super effective. As I thought, it goes for Ice Beam, does a little bit under half. I don't get Freeze Hack this time. I was really happy about that. Um, I go for Flame and that's going to finish the Glacian off, which was good. Um, you know, that, that was good. Uh, I haven't got to try my Houndoom hound out a lot. So, um, he could, he's going to go into his uh, Kingler. I sort of had to take the hit here. I didn't really want to swap into... You know, I didn't really want to risk him, you know, if he had Sword Dance, I, I wanted to get a Dark Pulse off. Um, we, you know, that's fine. So I'm going to go into Executor here. Um, I got to try this guy out pretty well, this battle. I was, I was, you know, I haven't actually got to try him out too much. Um, he's been sort of countered a lot. So it's going to go for, uh, Kingle is going to go for Crab Hammer, obviious crit there. Uh, it's got a high crit ratio, which is fine. Um, I wasn't too worried because I'm very bulked out in defense and I can always set the Sleep Powder uh, up and you know the leech seed little combination there. Um, I was I was pretty you know I was pretty confident that um, you know I could stall this out. If it, regarding it didn't have an ice move, I haven't actually looked too much at what Kingler's uh, moves are for this gen or breeding moves and such. But he's a great Pokemon and I have used him myself before. He's he's cool. Uh, I like the name as well. So uh, <laughs> okay, so he's going to stay asleep and um, I'm going to go for Psy Shock here. Uh, I know it might be funny that. I've got Psy Shock instead of Psychic, but I much prefer having Psy Shock because, you know, people try and swap in with their special defense walls in all the time on Executor, and, you know, if you can do something uh, with it, it's fine. Um, you can do a lot more damage. So he's going to go for Rock Slide there. Uh, it does quite a bit of damage. Uh, it does around the same as Crab Hammer. Um, Crab Hammer Crit, that is. I get the Citrus Berry uh, Recovery there. I'm just going to finish him off with the Psy Shock there. So, I think that could be his last poke. Uh, yes, it is. So, uh, that's all for this battle. Uh, good game, Aaron. It was fun. Um, I, I did enjoy some of the Pokemon you used. They were, they were cool. Um, I don't obviously really see uh, Kingler and uh, Rotom Fan too much. I don't like calling him a Rotom Fan. Um, but, uh, let me just see if there's anything else I need to say. But yeah, I've got uh, some more Wi-Fi battles coming your way tonight, so be prepared for them. Um, they'll some decent ones as well. Um, yeah, I had a nice run of battles today. I was pretty happy with that. I was able to uh, sneak them in uh, during my... I was having just a little break from breeding. Uh, but I'm going to be uh, making a couple more pokes um, this week for Saturday as well, so expect some new stuff. And if you want me to use any Pokemon or 
you've got a Pokemon you want me to use or something like that, uh, leave a comment and might, might, you know, we might be able to work something out. Okay, that's about all I want to do for this video. Peace out, guys.